Steve. We are good to go. Um, so yeah, your experience to start as soon as you walk through the door. Uh, have fun. Okay. Cool. Okay, yeah. Every night, I do my bedtime routine in the same order. I take a shower, I brush my teeth, and then I turn my phone off. The last part of my bedtime routine is getting into bed. I read somewhere that showering before you go to sleep is supposed to help your body cool down from the day, or something like that. These days, I'll take advice from anywhere. I just want to sleep. I've always had trouble falling asleep. When I can't sleep, I get this sensation, a dark vibration at the base of my skull. It's not really something I'm actively thinking about during the day, it's just sort of on the periphery of my senses. But there's something about laying down that translates this feeling into one loud thought. I'm not going to sleep tonight. And as I have this thought, my stomach fills with lead, my heart starts to race, I want to run far and long and do anything other than lay still. The hardest part about realizing that I'm not going to be able to sleep is deciding if I have the will to get out of bed and do anything about it. Lots of light streaming in from my window form into columns and rows, accounting with numbers that I don't understand other than their importance and urgency. One half of my brain grinds up against these numbers, attempting to sum their shifting contents into a stable, real number, while the other half focuses on calculating the tax. To do tomorrow. Send the budget for IMLS to Aaron. Write Intel final report. Email Peter about invoice. Compile notes to the provost visit. Cancel meeting with Dwayne. Email Ryan about his lecture. Sign up for the ACA or whatever the fuck they have in Chicago. Donate clothing. Get blood drawn. Pay your bills. Do your laundry. Ah! upon the path the forest falls behind today I am not prey to dark uncertainty the shadow trembles in its wrath Breathe in deeply. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You hear the sound of your whirring freewheel, wind beating in your ears. This is as close as you can get to flying. You're going too fast, and so are they. 
The dew on your sneakers makes the skin on your legs prickle with cold. You want to pull off the road, but it's too windy and steep. Green farmland whizzing by while you pedal faster, faster down the hill. The only thing you can do is wait until you get to the bottom. The air is sweet and cool. The truck crosses the middle line of the street, boots screeching, horn blaring. This isn't working. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. My mom's insomnia was temporarily ameliorated by a regimen of antidepressants and a low dose of Ambien. When I was really, really young, my mother would give me Benadryl to help me sleep. As an adult, I only take homeopathic sleep aids. Mugwort oil, St. John's wort, valerian, melatonin, chamomile, and this one really weird pill that has hot. Okay. Happy place. I walk out of the waves onto the sand. The blue towel is warm and inviting on my ocean cold skin. I lay down and smell sunscreen and brine. The sun grazes my sandy body. The sound of waves envelop me. A distant roaring. A wall of waves that reach towards the sky. People running from the water, screaming, clutching beach umbrellas. But you can't outrun water. Liquids take the form of their containers. And with nothing to stop this wave. And with nothing to stop this wave. And with nothing to stop this wave. There's something about not sleeping that amplifies my dreams. Dreams transport me into a world of ever more impossible anxieties. I've climbed a climbing wall with a group of friends. I'm being belayed by someone? I make it through a cage-like maze of ladders that have rungs barely the width of my hand. The school principal yells at me and tells me that I'm being arrested for criminal activity and they're taking away my fellowship. I'm stuck in a basement, and the pool is overflowing. Hey, are you guys still awake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sleep. I know. Oh my gosh, me neither. <laughs> I have so much energy. I just had so much cake. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of tired, guys. What? No. Yeah. Oh, guys, guys, I kind of have to pee. Just go. But I'm so comfy. Go okay, fine, fine, I'm going. Okay. Oh my gosh, I think I'm actually going to go to sleep, too. <sighs> Come on. What, did he go to sleep, too? I'm not tired at all. I know, me either. Let's stay up all night. Yeah. Stay, stay up, up all night. night. Stay up all night. Stay up all night. Stay up all night. Stay up all night. <laughs> Guys? Hey, are you still awake? Anyone? I'm so tired, I haven't slept a wink. I'm so tired. My mind is on the blink I wonder should I get up And fix myself a drink No, no, no Fuck you, Sheep 372. Fuck you, Sheep 373. 
Fuck you, sheep 374. Fuck you, sheep 375. Fuck you, sheep 376. Fuck you, sheep 377. And fuck you, sheep 378. Has counting sheep literally ever worked for anyone? I'm never going to sleep. Mom gets out of bed and reaches for a warm, soft white bathrobe with the smallest roses patterned on the collar. Without saying a word, she leads me out of her bedroom, down the stairs, and into the kitchen. She puts water into the silver kettle and turns on the electric stove. Pulling out a box of sleepy time tea, she asks, What are you worried about? I spend five or so minutes vomiting out all of the possible terrible things that might happen tomorrow, eventually working myself up into tears. I am ashamed that I'm crying about a test. I'm sorry I woke her up. I feel better holding the hot cup of tea in my hands, knowing that someone else has at least heard what was on my mind. I'd swim across Lake Michigan I'd sell my shoes I'd give my body to be back again There's never enough time for me to go to sleep. The longest someone has ever stayed awake was 264 hours, about 11 days. This was done voluntarily for a high school science fair. Have I broken this record? Half the time. I wonder if my insomnia is even real. No one sees me when I'm unable to sleep, probably because everyone else is busy sleeping. When they see me, it's the next morning. Nothing technically wrong, I don't have an illness, I don't have something that can be cured, just symptoms that can be alleviated. So many other of life's challenging experiences involve other people, community validation, This here, this is my dream. Us here in the dark together is my closest shot at recognition. This is just the way it is. I can't sleep. Mm -hmm.